What's up guys? In this video, I thought I would share another croquis that I created for my fashion design portfolio. This one is done in Photoshop, so let's get started. So I'm starting on a fresh artboard and as I have previously mentioned, the easiest, simplest way to draw any croquis completely from scratch is to already have a template that looks like this. You can simply pick one from the internet or I have a few templates on my website which I will link below. The idea is we're going to dim the opacity and draw over it, using it as a guide for our new croquis. So let me show you how. I'm starting by creating a new layer, naming it Main Template and placing my template on it. Then, from the color panel on the side, I'm picking up the skin tones that I will use for my croquis. This is what each color is for. I'm then reducing the main template's opacity to 15% and creating a new layer called Second Template. I'm now going to draw my new croquis outline in black. My brush setting for this layer and the next is the hard round pressure brush because I am on a Wacom for today's drawing. While drawing at this stage, I like to keep it rough because I just need a general outline for now. Once done, I'm going to switch off the visibility of the main template by clicking the eye icon and then have a look at my second template to check everything and see if it looks okay so far. And yup, this seems fine. So let's use this now as a template for our main and final outline of the croquis, aka the third template. This time, let's be a bit more careful when we draw. But once again, no need for 100% perfection in your lines because none of the imperfections will be seen when you zoom out to the full croquis. Also, I'm using shadow color 3 here. Erase with the eraser tool and redraw any areas that you are not okay with. Next, with the lasso tool, I'm going to copy and paste the left leg drawn onto the right side. For this, I'm highlighting the area that I want copied, then hitting Command C and Command Shift V, go to Edit, Transform and flip horizontal to reflect it to the right. Then continue drawing. Add in additional details like the knees. And for her face, I'm getting into more details, switching between black and brown and using the soft round pressure brushes. Resize any area by highlighting it first and going to Edit and Free Transform. And finally, you should have something like this for your third template once your remaining template layers are made invisible. Now, create a new layer called Skin. Place it below the third template layer and let's start coloring it in with the hard round brush. Use the square bracket keys to increase and decrease your brush tool to color this in faster.
Next, I'm creating a layer for her clothes. Now, from here on, anything that I draw will be done on a clip masked layer of the skin. What this means is, if I draw outside of her skin area, nothing is going to show on the screen because a clip mask of the skin means that anything you draw will only show up within the boundaries of her skin. How we create a clip mask is, create a new layer above the skin layer, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and hover between both layers till you see this icon. Then simply click. You now have a clip mask created. So let's get to drawing her features. While drawing, create as many layers as you want. Now let's get to shading by selecting shadow color 1. I'm starting with a soft round brush to create my larger shadows first. Now switch to the hard round brush and draw in smaller solid blocks of shadow shapes like this in shadow color 2. Then switch to the soft round brush and smoothen out these shapes. Continue adding more detail to her face. Similarly, for her neck, using shadow color 3, draw a solid shape like this with a hard round brush and blend it in with the soft brush. Next, highlight just her face with the lasso tool by drawing a border like this. This will ensure that no shading done on her face will reach her neck. Then with shadow color 3, draw in the final facial shadows like so. Also add some blush to her cheeks. Next, let's switch to the highlights of her face, which is the areas where light will fall. I'm selecting a shade of white and going in like so. When her face is done, you should have something like this. Now I'm going to move to the body and complete the shading using the exact same steps. Occasionally, I will go back to my third template or the outline layer and use my eraser tool to remove areas of it because I don't need it anymore, like you can see here.
Okay, so when everything is done, it will look like this. Now let's get to drawing her hair. Once again, start with drawing an initial rough template. Then reduce the opacity of that layer, create another layer and draw your second and final template. Then let's start colouring. Now a tool that I like to use a lot for hair is the smudge tool. At her hairline, I can get a pretty realistic effect of hair strands by doing this. I'm then gonna draw dark solid shadow shapes like this and once again using my smudge tool to create a hair strand effect. Then let's move to adding the highlight colors. Similarly, let's do it with black color. And now I'm drawing in single strands of hair, which I will blur with the blur tool. Adding in a few finishing details, And we are done. So this is what the final croquis looks like. So I hope you guys were able to pick up a few ideas from this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.